Hey guys, my name is Terry Udy with Udy Brothers Real Estate, and I'm your host today of American Dream TV. Today we're in the Central West End neighborhood in St. Louis, and we're gonna take a look at the World Chess Hall of Fame. We're gonna go in and talk to one of their curators. She's gonna tell us a little bit about this cool organization. Let's go check it out. All right, so I'm here with Shannon Bailey. She's the chief curator here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Can you tell us a little bit about your organization? We celebrate chess and how it's involved in all aspects of culture and history. So you don't have to be a chess player or know a lot about chess history to come down here and enjoy it. We look at chess from all different angles. We've done shows about chess and fashion and chess and art. Uh, we have a great music series. Uh, it's really kind of a cultural hub located right here in the Central That's West cool. Center. So we're gonna go around and check out some of the artifacts mm -hmm. here. You were telling me about this book right here, Shannon. Yeah, so this is a really fun thing to talk about. Um, this is called the Red Book. So they would come out with these books of a, an entire chess player's chess playing history. So this is one all about Boris Spassky, and it lists every single game that he played, um, all of the moves, who he played with, when he played, and where they played. So when Bobby Fischer was studying to prepare for their match in 1972, which was the World Chess Championship that Bobby ended up winning, um, he memorized this entire book. Wow. This is his copy and you can see some of his notes in it. Very cool, very cool. So Shannon, can you tell us a little bit about the setup over here with this chessboard? So what we wanted to do when we were looking at this exhibition is we wanted to really get the whole mood of what was going on in 1972 and when they were playing. They created an original table and board and set for the match. Um, there are three that were made. There cannot be any more made. Right. We wanted one <laughs> for ourselves. But luckily, um, we got one of the replicas for this show. So cool. the original is still in Iceland. There's also a copy of it in Iceland. And this one is in a private collection in New York and uh, the lender was really generous and lent it to us. We recreated the sign. Um, these boards, um, this one is signed by Bobby and Boris. There were that. 10 of these made and they were given out as gifts and souvenirs after the match. And also located in this gallery, it's not this one, but it was actually the set that they played with in game three, which was the first time Bobby Fischer had ever beat Boris Spassky ever playing chess. Very cool. I love the history aspect. I know. Now the history down here is super cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, Shannon, thanks so much for having us today. Thank we you appreciate for your time. Thanks for showing us around. We're going to wander around a little more and check, it, check out the rest of the place. Great. Really appreciate it. Thanks. That was a really cool tour. This is a really cool spot and fun place to come. We want to thank the World Chess Hall of Fame for having us today. Uh, at this point, I'm going to throw it over to my brother, Keith. We're going to go take a look at an investment property that we have real close to here in St. Louis County. Hey, everybody. I'm Keith Udy. I'm your host of American Dream TV. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're switching gears a little bit and we're focusing on investment property. This home is an income property that my brother and I have owned. We've actually owned it since 2004. It's currently vacant, but not for long. We're in the process of showing it. We're asking $12.95 a month. So if you take a look at the numbers, that gets you about 15 grand a year in rental income. Taxes and insurance are about 3,000. So it's a profit of about $12,000 a year, which is pretty darn good. Let's uh, go inside and take a closer look at the place. All right, guys, we have an all brick, three bedroom, two bath home here. This is an older home, it's about 100 years old. Uh, with the older homes, you do get some nice features, um, including the brick, including the hardwood floors. Your dining area, uh, you have a real spacious room with a lot of uh, beautiful natural light. Uh, you probably would put the dining table in here. Kitchen's over this way. Uh, we have newer appliances. You got a view of the backyard. And then across the kitchen, up the stairwell here, you have two bedrooms and one bath.
Guys, thank you so much for watching us on American Dream TV. We're always super excited to have you. I'm Keith Udy. We'll see you next time.